no quality, no company can survive without quality. I repeat that no company can survive without quality. Okay. You can survive, you can be in business for one or two years. You can uh, you know, uh, sell your products or service within one or two years. But once when people know that you are not producing to their expectation, they will just say, no, I'm going to not buy from you anymore. So that, that's the power of consumer today. You understand the power of consumer. Consumer says, you know, this product is good. You know, in, uh, in today's um, very advanced uh, you know, digital world, social media is used as a platform to provide feedback for products and service. For example, you travel on uh, airlines or you, you, you go to hotels. Will you be asked to review once you check out of the hotel? Have you, have you seen that before? No, booking.com. Booking.com is the I know, Airbnb, for example. Yes, I know. Before COVID, very popular, but now not popular <laughs> because of COVID. But when you finish your, you know, you, you finish your service or you, you have buy the product, you can feedback. You can immediately, we call it review, customer review. That's why when you go for, you know, you go for restaurants, you see the review, right? You check the review. So that is the, you know, the power of uh, today's uh, consumer uh, demand for high quality and uh, product and service. Okay. But of course, to achieve that, we need all these standards, you know, ISO 9000 standard, we need the tools and we need management system. Management system means the way that we do things, okay? And there are you no know, things that we need to consider. A lot of things that need to be standardized. You must have inspection system and so on. So I think I've talked about this. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, like I mentioned last week, total quality management is encompassing the entire organization from supplier to customer. Okay, it stresses the commitment by management to have a continuing drive towards excellence. Okay, so, so it is excellence. Excellence, that, excellence in anything that we do. Defects are not excellent. Errors are not excellent, okay? And I think I mentioned about uh, how American companies uh, use this uh, Deming philosophy of you know, becoming excellent because they were forced to compete with Japan. 1970s, 1980s, Japan was producing very high quality products, they export cars, they export electronic goods, okay? And I think China is also now uh, moving towards uh, high quality product. They cannot keep on producing low quality products or low cost. Low cost, you know, cheap, but you know, it doesn't last long. So it cannot survive, okay? You have to move up the, uh, the quality chain. Um, okay. I believe I, I have not Explain Six Sigma and I've not explained Taguchi methods in any detail and also this knowledge of seven tools. Okay. So these are the important concepts of total quality management, right? Continuous improvement, employee empowerment, benchmarking, just in time system. Because all this helps to become excellent company, helps to create uh, you know what we call as TQM company. When I say TQM company, it means a total quality company. Total quality means every worker will, will think about quality. Okay, every worker will give their best. Not uh, it doesn't mean you have to work, work, work. No, it means that we work and give our best during working hours. Okay, the Japanese are workaholics. Okay, workaholics means you know workaholics. 
They work until 12 midnight, 11 midnight, 11 at night. So we need to balance our life, okay? Quality is also balanced life. Balance uh, personal life and so on. Okay, so, so the continuous improvement effort is a never ending process of continuous improvement because we need to improve our people. We need to improve equipment. We need to improve materials. We need to improve procedures. Everything needs to be improved. Because uh, you, if, you don't, if you don't measure and you do not know the, the condition, you do not know whether it is good or bad. When you measure, then you see whether it is no good, then you improve. Or you maintain. You maintain the high level. If you don't maintain, it's like our health. I think last week we saw the video. Quality, if you don't maintain, it will go down. Okay, so that is the, uh, you know, um, that is the discipline that is required. Okay, I mentioned about this last week already. Kaizen and zero defect. Okay, Six Sigma. So Six Sigma is actually a very, it is um, what they call, it was invented by Motorola. Okay, Motorola invented the Six Sigma uh, so-called methodology. Okay, or oh, some people they say Six Sigma system. Whatever it is, uh, it is actually a system for doing continuous improvement. Okay, I'll start with this first. Okay, I'll start with this. So there is two meanings to this so-called Six Sigma. So Six Sigma actually means it comes from this Six Sigma. You know Sigma? Statistic Six Sigma. Okay, so if I explain to you that, uh, the first meaning is it is a program. It is a program. That means a Six Sigma program. What is the purpose? To reduce defects, to lower costs, to save time, and to improve customer satisfaction. So basically, it is a program. And uh, the program for continuous improvement, for reducing costs, designed by Motorola. Okay, Motorola create this. But there are companies which actually adopt and follow. Okay, so it's basically um, uh, that's why it's a comprehensive system for achieving and sustaining business success. But how do you do it? How do you do it? So the basic understanding is this statistical definition of six sigma. So this statistical definition, that means that any process, any process, whether the process is, for example, the process is plane takeoff, you know, in airport, at the, um, you know, airport, 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 uh, so, so Hikoki will take off. Okay, for example, uh, Bhutan Airlines, not Bhutan Airlines, maybe a Nepal Airlines, okay, Nepal Airlines, Nepal Airlines, records, uh, record for 1,000 takeoff, there will be three errors. Three errors take off 1,000 times. So this statistically, if I calculate this, it is 99.7%, 99.7% okay. 100% means zero error. Ne? Zero error means 100%. Makani maska. Zero error, 100%. So this process is 99.7% okay. But no good because we still have, we want, we want 99.999% okay. So how to do it? So we need to reduce this error. Reduce. 
For example, my uh, aeroplane uh, Air Asia. Air Asia plane crash in Jakarta. 100,000 hours fly, one crash. So maybe 99.999999%. So that's the meaning of this. Capable. Makari Maska. So statistical definition of a process that is 99.9997 capable. Capable means good. So we want process to be very, very, very perfect. So 3.4 defect per million. So 3.4 per million, eh? per million. So there are no ichiban e no process. Nan demo process. Manufacturing process. Service process. So you that is the meaning of six sigma. So it six sigma is a very um, but it is not easy, eh? <laughs> not easy, not easy to do this. That, so that's why you need a system. That's why we need a program. Okay. So this is what I explained just now. I explained just now. So for uh, so ninety nine point uh, I can teach you statistics. This is ninety nine point seven percent normal distribution. 2,700 defect per million. But the one, this is three sigma. Damn it. We want six sigma. We want this uh, process very good. Upper limit, uh, lower limit, and upper limit is 3.4 defect per million decade <laughs> only. Okay. So this is, uh, you know, Japanese have achieved this a long time already. Japanese uh, companies, Toyota, you know, have achieved this. Okay. So this is the meaning of Six Sigma. Six Sigma here means statistical Six Sigma. That's number one. Number two is a program. It is a program. So what is the program? The program is, <coughs> it was originally developed by Motorola. And this program, so this is symbol, uh, this is symbol, uh, six sigma, symbol, six sigma program. And it has been General Electric G used a lot. Okay, Jack Welch. Jack Welch, their CEO. If you read in management book, Jack Welch, if you read Jack Welch, he um, made six, six sigma very successful in G. Okay. Because uh, because why? Because uh, they are able to reduce cost. Okay, that's the most important thing. Because if you reduce your error, your your process very stable, very good. It's high quality, so cost is reduced. Ne? cost reduced. That's common sense. Ne? Uh, so it was developed by Motorola, and it is a highly structured approach. When you say highly structured approach, it means the, the methodology step by step must follow this uh, discipline, this discipline, DMAIC, DMIAC. Of course, it is a strategy. Strategy is a business strategy. Business strategy because when they start the, the project, every improvement is a project. So they start out, for example, how to increase market share. Now our market share is only two sigma. The, you know, there's a lot of mistakes in marketing and so on. So they will say increase to four sigma. Not, not necessarily six sigma, okay? We can business approach say, okay, we only target 4.5 sigma, for example. Our effort, we can achieve 4.5 sigma. So it depends on your capability. So it's a strategy. And uh, a discipline means this is the method. The method of, uh, uh, you know, uh, for doing this. I'll explain this after this. Dimyak. Eh? We call it Dimyak. Dimyak. D-M-A-I-C. And also, you must use tools. So we use a set of seven tools. 
but of course it is more than that there are other tools okay and because in operation management probably you will just look at seven tools but in engineering we will use design of experiments we will use uh, taguchi methods we will use uh, uh, what you call any many other engineering methods eh? many tools so what is dimya dimya eh? so what is dimya d m a i c d m i c stands for a short form so it is a short form it is an approach d m a i c define so in the program in the, in the project there will uh, there's a team team is uh, you know there is a structure of black belt okay is it here okay now black belt green belt okay never mind up to this eh? black belts so black belts are those uh, champ the, the, there is a champion and then the black belt is like karate you know? <laughs> the yellow belt green belt it's like karate but it is a system to achieve black belt the person must understand statistics must understand you know must understand normal distribution must understand uh, normal distribution must understand the statistics x bar sigma mu you know must understand uh, in all these uh, hypotheses uh, mu one and so on okay i think you have done some statistics before right uh, so so statistics very good in statistics must understand eh? so this black belt will lead the project lead become leader but of course the team member come from different department or different section you know this from production this is from quality control this is from marketing this is from uh, purchasing so they form the team to do the project for example how to reduce defect now we have like uh, 10000 defects for 1 million for example maybe we say now we are at two sigma we want to increase until we are at two sigma we want to target four sigma so we can reduce x dollar of money so this become the case the the, the project case okay so that's why it become the project purpose scope outputs and it identify the required process information where do you need to collect the data okay because at the end of the day if i can reduce this problem customer will always be uh, increase satisfaction okay so you define it first it is it's a step by step it's like pdca also pdca sakino pdca or nadio PDCA, kau mau P nih, P P, define measure, okay, P D C, check, okay, analyze lah, P D, tambah C ya, check, analyze. So it is same thinking, okay, same thinking. Then measure, measure the process and collect data. Collect data means you see the step by step process. So we have some tools. After this, I'll show the basic tools. Okay, the seven tools for us to do the basic improvement. Okay, analyze the data, ensure repeatability and reproducibility of the data, especially for dimensions and also for engineering data. Repeatability and reproducibility. That means if I measure, I need to check the measurement error. You use a tool, okay? You use the caliper gauge, or you know some some, or even weights to measure weight. So that weighing machine must be measuring what is required. Okay, analyze the data, then improve by modifying or redesigning process and procedures. Because all quality problems, actually, quality problems. Uh, comes from we call it uh, a process variable in the process any process for example you make uh, you you cut okay cut apple 
cut apple process eh cut apple so cut apple what is the factor for good cutting process variable tell me anyone give me example give me a possible variable that will be affected when you do any process <coughs> good knife you good knife. knife yes good knife is so what is knife knife is equipment okay or machine good knife or good tool tool equipment machine okay equipment machine machine okay 4m 4m machine material material because if i want to make something i have to mix material so if if i make uh, food theory theory if the yasai is uh, dame material dame quality out makrimaska material knife material machine material sorry kara method or procedure procedure method or sop man human so all process of course some process today no human robot that is equipment so if if this can be managed and find out why for example in men men different skill different skill what you do improve the skill how to improve the skill teach learn do so men can be improved so all these are quality problems uh, sources sources of quality problems men machine material method okay and other thing uh, this is basic right so you improve improve this improve this improve the equipment improve the material so when you when you when you collect data properly you can improve anything in the world <laughs> okay do you understand me i i may be exaggerating nandemo dekiru if you understand if you understand you know equipment material i'm engineer okay i'm not i'm not doctor okay doctor solve their own problem i solve engineering problem doctor cannot solve covid problem so no good damn it <laughs> so management also you saw management problem makari maska so management must solve manage, manager must solve management problem if you don't solve management problem don't become manager don't become manager if you cannot solve you know your discipline your area and then finally control okay control the new process control the new process because we have to improvement we have designed the new process then this is new procedure so we need to maintain make sure performance level are maintained that's the most difficult thing the difficult thing is when you reach a level we want to maintain that level okay right so implementing six sigma because we emphasize defect per million opportunities as a standard metric that means that is our measurement our metric our hmm, kpi ste maska kpi key performance indicator kpi key performance indicator so that is our kpi key performance indicator okay key performance indicator so we we say okay our process in our company is at uh, 4.5 sigma we want to move to 5 sigma so you do improvement and you provide intensive uh, extensive training you focus on uh, the champions or we call it corporate sponsor support there are champions 
champion in you know from different uh, function and department you create that uh, champions eh, to to do improvements uh, to achieve greater tar uh, greater targets okay and you create qualified process improvement experts which i mentioned just now black belt green belt yellow belt right Normally, in a Six Sigma program, they set stretch objective. Stretch objective. Do you know what stretch objective is? It's okay. Okay, what is the meaning of stretch? Stretch. Flexible. You pull it like stretch. Like for rubber, 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 stretch. So, so if loose, you know, not loose objective, but stretch objective. So it is uh, uh, beyond, you know, it's a high, high, it's a high, high target. It's a high target. It is a challenging target. Not futsu no objective janai ne, futsu no objective janai, but High, high, difficult objective. Okay, this is six sigma, six sigma programs. But of course, if you you target high and you don't achieve high, you know, you, you may end up higher, right? Okay, from your low low target. <laughs> don't, don't don't target low, target high. Okay, uh, and this cannot be accomplished without a major commitment from top level. Management. So Six Sigma program cannot be successful if there is no top management commitment. Okay, or for that matter, any quality improvement program, anything, anything that the uh, company tries to, you know, to do change management, top management must be committed. Committed means more than uh, lip service and not saying. Okay. Uh, okay, I did mention this already. Call circles last week, benchmarking, uh, internal benchmarking, and the need for GIT, uh, just in time system that will work together with uh, quality. Okay, right. Um, okay, Taguchi concepts. Uh, Genichi Taguchi is a Japanese engineer. Genichi Taguchi. After this, you can Google and you can uh, investigate further. So he actually developed this engineering and experimental design methods to improve product and process quality. Uh, process design, sorry. Product and process design. So he says that you, will, you need to uh, determine or design quality into the product. You cannot just wait until you make the product. So you have to do experiments, investigate, uh, and build that, okay? So that the product become very, become robust. Robust means very uh, uh, strong or very, uh, it, it works in different environments. So that's why we get quality robustness. Even if you uh, slightly, you know, uh, use beyond the normal usage because you do not know customers, customers, how they use product. For example, I give you an example. When you close the door of a car, you close the door. Some people close it very slow. Some people close it very hard, slam. So, so the lock must be robust, meaning that it can withstand, okay? It withstand, withstand the uh, harsh environment of usage. Harsh, eh? harsh means um, usage. Because customer, we do not know how customer, you know, use this pen, for example, <laughs> you know. So it must be robust. <coughs> so he he actually uh, developed this and uh, why why you have to do this uh, experimental design is to identify key parameters that affect product variation 
okay key parameter and all these things uh, he uh, his thinking of quality is different okay uh, taguchi thinks that quality is not like just now i show you uh, it is not a normal distribution uh, this limit this limit this is upper limit this is lower limit this is the the we call it nominal value okay the middle value so plus minus because this is tolerance base 5.0 plus minus 0 0.5 5.5 4.5 Anything within that, Daiyobu. Okay, this is uh, this is not not target oriented. Okay, I will show you the next slide. Okay, uh, so quality robustness means the ability to produce product uniformly in adverse manufacturing and environmental condition. That's why I mentioned just now, robust. Okay, so it will remove the effects of the adverse and condition so whatever the 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 manufacturing condition the the process of producing it can be done okay it doesn't damage the product uh, and because small variations in material do not destroy product quality so it is you know it is it includes what we call as noise eh? noise uh, in taguchi language we call it noise there's a lot of noise in production process things which are not cannot control you cannot control workers uh, you know when they use a hammer you do not know some hit hard some hit slow so you, so this is this is noise so it can withstand the big variation okay <coughs> so he came up with this quality loss function so this is what we call it a target quality. Quality loss function shows that cost increase as the product, uh, the, when you produce the product, it is not at the target size. Okay. As it goes away from the customer ones, cost increases, right? And cost will improve customer satisfaction, warranty, and so on. So these traditional conformance specification are too simplistic. So this is what I mentioned just now. This is conformance statistics. Okay, conformance. Up, uh, lower limit, lower spec limit, upper spec limit. Uh, 10 plus minus uh, 1. So this is 11, this is 9. As long as size within 9 to 11, okay. So he doesn't, he is saying, so anything deviate from the, I show you this one. This is what it means. Okay, it's a bit mathematical, but very simple. Okay, very simple. Just look at this inverted uh, quadratic function. What does he say here? Best. You see, best. It is between this and this. For example, this is nine. Say this is ten, eleven, twelve, eight. Seven, six, size, eh? size, very simple. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So those we make eight to ten best. Ichiban e size wa eight to ten. Skashi moshi seven to eleven. You produce product seven to eleven. Kerewa ma ma ne good. Mata chini hongo na mo. So it's easier for me. So, but but all idea, this is conformance idea. Conformant, the normal distribution. Okay, this is a normal distribution, conformant idea. Mama Dajo Bune, as long as six until twelve, okay. Ja. Okay, lower and upper. This is uh, you know 99.99999. Nah, ma, okay, ja. But the good says no, this is lost to society. We we move away as we move away from the target. Target was nine. So if I if I can produce all nine 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 one ichiban, best the best. But if I produce uh, ten nine, you know ten ten pieces nine, and then another ninety pieces is uh, twelve. So rewa acceptable because we are producing. Because we move away from the target, the higher the cost. As we move 
away, so this is lost to society. D squared is the square of the distance from the target value. C is the cost of division. So he said this is the formula, loss. Loss is square of distance from target value times cost of division. Okay. So this is high loss, this is low loss. Uh, so you are very, very, very nice, eh? very nice. But difficult to explain to people who don't understand the concept of loss function. And loss, loss to society. Eh? Loss to society means if I can produce the same size, no defect, no, you know, all target. So that's why target is uh, target quality, not specification, eh? not based on specification. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Get that idea? You get an idea of quality loss function? Huh? Of course, you can Google and see, uh, you know. Uh, the son uh, of uh, Taguchi, Genichi Taguchi no, uh, no nani, son wa nanda. Excuse me? Uh, Nihongo wa uh, son, son, S-O-N, son. Imot, eh, otoko? Mm, I don't know, because it can be woman. Man. Uh, Genichi Taguchi, Genichi Taguchi, who invented this uh, Taguchi method, he has only one son. His name is Shin Taguchi. So Shin Taguchi is Watashi no Tomodachi. Shin Taguchi. So we are in contact about you know, and have uh, we have done uh, some some uh, training in Malaysia. Uh, Shin Taguchi. So he is now teaching a lot of. Uh, you can Google internet Shin Taguchi. Okay, so quality loss function. So target oriented quality yields more product in the best. And then target uh, brings forward product to that target value. Right, so other tools. So I, I finish about the, uh, you know, the basic concepts which are actually been developed. And there are many other things. There are so many other things that relates to uh, total quality management and the tools. So now, Basic tools, these are TKM basic tools. There are uh, tools related to tools for generating ideas, uh, check sheets, uh, scatter diagram, cost effect diagram. And there are tools to organize the data. We call it Pareto chart, uh, flow diagram, uh, sorry, flow chart or process diagram. Okay. And also tools for identifying, identifying problems, which is histogram and statistical process control chart. This is much more, uh, this is a little bit uh, more complicated than the earlier six. Okay, these are the easy ones check sheets, scatter diagram, and a Pareto chart. Okay, right. So, check sheet is very simple, it's an organized method of recording data. Right, so it's, a, it's just a record. Right, today, of course, we have a lot of. Uh, Computer and uh, you know, Excel sheet. You can just use Excel, Excel, okay, or even uh, using the uh, software to record this. But anyway, check sheet is one of the most important tool before we can collect data. We need you know check sheet, so we can you can do uh, you know this is in the, initially empty, right? So you can you can check it, eh? check marks. A scatter diagram is a graph that shows the relationship between one variable and another variable. Okay, it's like our, um, what do you call, um, um, the regression, okay, linear regression. Linear regression method. Okay, a scatter diagram shows uh, the relationship between one factor and another factor. For example, in this case, Productivity reduces as as an absenteeism uh, increases. Okay, that means a lot of people absent, productivity will become low. Okay, so that's you can do this for even for example, 
what is the effect of um, speed with engine uh, fuel consumption, okay, fuel consumption and uh, driving speed, or even materials and the amount of material you put in more um, when you make cake, you put in more flour, then hard, hardness, it, it will increase the hardness, or it, become, it doesn't become bread, okay, it becomes hardened bread. So we can know, we can do experiment, do experiment to see the best condition. Okay, you can see the best condition. So this is uh, investigation that we can use to investigate. Cause and effect diagram is a very simple tool. Okay, it is only, uh, it's also called as Ishikawa diagram. So he doesn't want to call uh, Ishikawa diagram because it's given under uh, from uh, Kaoru Ishikawa, which is actually a Japanese uh, quality guru. Okay, Kaoru Ishikawa. Maybe you have heard of his name, okay? So it is identifying the, uh, this is causes, potential causes. So you do this by brainstorming, eh? brainstorming. Team will sit down together, okay, and uh, identify the effect. Okay, let's do a quick one. Eh? If I tell you, I want to find out uh, why Japanese, uh, no good English. Not for not Japanese only now. Foreigner, okay. Why uh, why Chinese no good English? Why Japanese no English? effect? So what effect? So the mon so the monday problem. Okay. Can you tell me idea? Give me one one reason. Give me one cause for why Japanese cannot speak good English. Everyone, give me one idea. I will write it down here. Education. Uh, who's that? Okay, education. Okay, what, what about education? Specifically, education. Specific one, one specific thing about education. Because we want uh, to know very, very, very detailed. Okay. Okay, never mind. Next, uh, I'll call name. Okay, I'll call name. Okay, Yuma. Think of an idea and then give me, I'll just lay down. Then we and then I'll put it inside the box. Okay. Yuma. Japanese. Shy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Shy. Uh, okay. What, what, uh, you, it's okay. Uh, opportunity. No opportunity. Okay. Soka. No opportunity. Hi. Uh, ho. I got around for you. I saw you in your net. Your, your, your face in my video. Okay, four. Pass? You can say pass. Pass means no idea. Okay, pass. This is brainstorming. Okay, I'm trying to brainstorm and teach you. When you have this brainstorming session, that's what you do. I'm the leader now. I'm asking you. Okay, Fang, Wang. Very fun. Education, Education, no. What about education? Think a bit more. What about education? Uh, the, the, like, uh... Teacher no good. Okay, teacher no good. Never mind, right there, teacher no good. <laughs> and Japanese students, they use katakana to pronounce English. Oh, so, so they don't use romaji, they use katakana. Yeah. それはガメね。オッケー、ユスカタカナ。チェン。うん。え。日本語で。うん。メタ。そう、what okay. 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 method? Okay. What is the equipment? What is the manpower? Okay, this is we take method. Method one, well, the, the teaching method is okay. I tell you why. Method. Any any idea of method? The one is method. Nah. Use katakana is actually method is inside here. Mm, teacher teacher tells how to read, mm -hmm. but not enough. Mm -hmm. Not enough. 
speak. Okay, if I ask you a question now, what language does the teacher teach when they teach English? Uh, they, do they teach English in English or they teach English in, in Japanese? Japanese? Huh? In Japanese, I think. So you are dumb, eh? <laughs> okay, Yule, what, any idea? So they teach how to write, they read, but they don't read. Okay, Yule. Oh. Well, uh, actually, I don't think Japanese are not really good at English. It, well, from my opinion, they're just waking pronouns. They are just? They're just waking pronouns. They are weak in pronouns. Yes. You, I, I think in grammar or spelling or understanding, they're, they're actually good at us. They can understand what people say is just a waking pronouns. I see. Okay. They, not you, Lee. I'm asking uh, you, okay, do you agree or not? Uh, not me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. You Do you agree weak in pronunciation? Yeah, I agree. You agree. Okay. So the... Uh, why Japanese, when, when you say no, no good English, uh, probably speaking English, okay, speaking. So speaking includes pronunciation and expression. You may good, may be good in reading, may be understanding uh, what I'm saying, but you know, the command of language require you to actually also speak, right? Okay, you home. What, why why Japanese no good speaking English? Okay, we, we, we solve the problem. We change the problem. Why no good speaking English? Uh, I think they, they should change how they pronounce English. They, they, they have to, uh, they should not to use katakana. Ah, okay, mm. so the root cause of the problem is this, eh? root cause. Yeah. Then we can say the root cause. Root cause, so you can find if you put it inside here, you know, this is, and then you say, okay, this is the root cause that not only are here, method, uh, root cause of the particular issue. Okay, Shato, uh, Shota, uh, Shota, you haven't given any idea uh, or any idea. Anata wa Nihonjin, Naze Nihonjin wa Ego, no, Hanasanai, Watashito, Hanasanai. I I heard about the, the English teacher uh, in in Japan. They they didn't when they teach the students. They didn't use the I mean pronunciation correctly. They they are they teaching their student according to Japanese slang. Yeah, we, they they using katakana to teach their students. So I I just heard that I don't know about it because I didn't accept um, the Japanese. Okay. For many other things, you can use for example a machining, machining problem. Service late. Service late. Why service late? Okay. So you need to, uh, you know, find, you know, identify the effect. Effect, what is the effect? Then brainstorm, okay, brainstorm. Maybe, uh, Yuma-san, yuma -san. Yes. My suggestion is you find two or three foreigners to be your friends and speak English to your foreign friends. Don't be shy and speak English to anyone that you see. To, to pick up the language. If you want to pick up the language, if you want to learn more of the language, you have to find friends, you have to actually uh, communicate and just be daring enough. Daring means just do it. Thank you. Don't, don't be 
You know, I'm a failure. No, no one is a failure. You are still young. All of you are still young. You have a long way to go. A long way to go. You can, you can. I've seen very good Japanese speaking English. I've seen in YouTube. I've seen very good Japanese speaking English people. Very good, excellent. Okay. So nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is free. Pareto chart. Okay, this is a Pareto chart, a graph to identify and plot problems or defects in ascending order. So these are problems A, B, C, D, E. And once we collect data, for example, from our check sheet, we can actually plot this. Okay, we can actually um, put a graph. But today in Excel, there is already Pareto chart. Okay, you can just click and you come up with Pareto chart. Pareto chart is good because we don't want to solve. So, for example, there are 10 problems or 20 problems, for example. We don't want to solve all the problems. We only want to solve main problems. So, this is also called the 80 20 rule. Okay, Pareto chart is developed by Vilpeto, Vilfredo Pareto, it's an Italian economist. 80% of uh, impact or, or the outcome. That means, for example, this is the frequency, 80%. Only coming from 20% of the items, 20% of the problems. But this 20% is giving 80% you know, impact or result, resultant. So we, if I can remove this one problem, I can you know, take away 80% of the impact. So that is 80-20 rule. In life, we can use this 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of our time is spent on 20% of the item, sleeping, <laughs> eating. So we can reduce sleeping, we can increase our time for other things to do, okay? So 80-20 rule. 80% of our income is spent on 20% of the item, okay? You pay for your car, you pay for your house, you pay for your bills, 80% gone. You only spend it, you only left with a small amount, okay? But this is uh, Pareto, uh, Pareto principle, uh, Pareto chart. Uh, what else? Flow chart is a, one of the simplest uh, chart which is used in, uh, in a tool, to, it is considered as tool of total quality because if we do not understand our process, we do not know the steps in our process, where it starts, okay, we need to know where it starts. Well, how does the process, you know, begin? And where will it actually end? Okay, this is not a good example. Okay, you know, go back here. So end this. <laughs> should be some some end. Okay. Anyway, it's like our computer program. You know, we need to have a, a begin and then a decision, and then we can actually uh, identify where are the missing steps. Which steps can be combined? We're talking about efficient process. Okay, we need to see whether process can be can be combined, or where are the process that actually having producing defects or bottlenecks, so we can do improvement, okay? So um, many, many people suggest that before we actually start to improve, we should document our process. We should actually uh, understand our process by coming up with a process diagram, okay? That, that's very, uh, it's, it's, been, uh, it's uh, being proof that you know, it is very important. Another thing is that because we're talking about team, team improvement, right? so the team must know the, what is the way that we do now. For example, in Malaysia now, we have this uh, COVID uh, vaccination center, vaccination, okay? So when you go to the vaccination center, so there will be processes, register, then go to the next and they will check your uh, current uh, health condition, check your pressure. So this is a process. So if your process is not you know, uh, properly uh, understood, okay, then the customers also do not know how to go to the process, right? So there is no, no process. I saw a video in uh, Taiwan, 
people rushing to get vaccination. Did, did you see the video in uh, Taiwan, people rushing to get the vaccination, vaccine? So everybody rushing. So no process. <laughs> everybody rushing. But in Malaysia, we have uh, we have apps apps to register. Then they will fix a date. Okay. Then we go to the center. So it is a process. Uh. Anyway, you need a process diagram of flowchart. Uh, flow Histogram shows the frequency. So this is actually our before we get our normal distribution. So this is distribution repair time uh, or any measure measurement okay this is not pareto diagram okay pareto diagram is for categories category of defects item type of uh, types of problems but this is measurement repair time dimensions weight okay and so on so this is this is the this is the distribution, okay, frequency. And so it shows whether the process is um, within your specification. Okay, if there is a specification, you can put in the specification line, upper specification line, lower specification line. So you can see the distribution, whether it is it is within spec or out of spec, right? Uh, so it shows the frequency of occurrence of a variable. So in this case, the variable is the repair time. Okay. And the other one is statistical process control, SPC chart or control chart. We call it. There is upper control limit, lower control limit, and the target value. So you plot the points. This is time. Eh? This is time uh, at intervals. So you can see whether the the process is stable or not. So it is the statistical process control chart. So this, this point here, we will say that this is actually out of control. So we need to do some investigation to bring the process back to control. Anything within here that you plot, anything is, this is out of control. This is in control, in control, in control, out of control. So we need to investigate the four factors man machine method material so always investigate new man ah uh, new man new worker new worker so we need to teach train eh? not scold the worker scold scold means you tell the worker no, no don't scold worker if you scold worker no problem solved <laughs> You know, when you tell. So the examples of the uh, tools, okay, this is the cost impact diagrams. And it says here, miss free throws, okay, whatever the process is. <laughs> okay, so it says size of ball, grain. Okay. So, so you can see, okay, that, that you can develop cost and effect diagram for a lot of situation to understand it. But when you do, do the improvement, you don't solve all the uh, causes you select you select for example i want to investigate the air pressure so you investigate further on this and see whether air pressure improve or solve the problem okay so that's that's the main purpose of the developing this cost effect diagram you do not you know try to solve all the you know uh, problems all the all the you know you do not solve all of them. You pick up and you study one at a time. Okay, you study one at a time. So you say, okay, we study air pressure. And then we say that, okay, now I want to, you know, study this, follow through, or I want to see, okay, this. Is. So you, you want to progressively understand the process better. So if you can, you know, uh, standardize all these back factors, and you know the effect of, for example, one uh, factor to another, that means you are going to uh, you know, uh, be able to reduce a lot of problems or, or achieve high quality at the end of the day. Eh? This is an example of Pareto chart. Okay, you can, uh, can see the, this 80% 80, 80 eh? 80, 20 rule. So this is, this is almost, see here, this is community percent of this uh, room service 
72 percent okay so it says here already 72 percent so this is actually 72 percent if you if you get this two if you solve this two you can solve 80 percent more than 80 percent of your problem okay because the rest are very contributing small uh, frequencies and this is a real okay it's not in your note it's in the note that can give so this is a, a problem on uh, construction okay construction problems flow charts example of flow chart mri, MRI process uh, physician schedule and then until patient and uh, physician discuss right so you can see the you can see the whole steps involved this is very important eh? so for spc i said just now you use statistics and control charts to tell when to take corrective actions uh, it will drive process improvement uh, i'm not going to go to this very detail about this okay four key steps measure the process when the change is shown find the assignable cause so this is the terminology in spc so the short form is SPC, assignable cost. So what is the reason? Eh? The, the reason. So you need to find the reason. Investigate the reason. So the chat doesn't, doesn't solve the problem. This is not problem solving. It's just a monitoring tool okay, to see whether the process is in control or not. You eliminate or you incorporate the cost. That means you try to um, resolve the problem and you restart the revised process. Some come process you, you cannot stop, you can continue, but you, you know that the process is not producing according to what it is wanted. Okay, so you need you can stop the process. That means you stop, you do not continue making the products. So you stop the process like Toyota, lah. Toyota stop the process. So that the process, you bring it back to control. You bring it between the limits, okay, upper control and lower control. So this is called control charts. It was developed way back in 1930s by Shuhart. It is also known as Shuhart chart. Okay, Shuhart, uh, Shuhart charts. Okay. Uh, there are Excel software actually to plot this graph. Okay, there is uh, so many kind of charts, X bar, X bar R charts, okay, P charts and C charts and so on. Um, uh, Right, so I'm not going to ask you to um, master this. I'm just uh, like and making you aware that this is actually uh, exists and is used by company. Now, uh, another important aspect in in uh, quality, I think I've shown you last week about inspection. Eh? So we need to we need to do inspection to evaluate the. Uh, performance or to, to see whether the product is meeting the specifications or not. So it involves examining items to see if item is good or defective. Uh, but of course, it doesn't add value. Okay? If the product is defective, then you know inspection just confirm it is defective. So you need to build quality in the process. There's this, there's a phrase: build quality in the process. Next process is your customer. So you must do the best, only give the customer the next process acceptable component, parts, material. So then only you build quality, okay? So inspection will detect a defective product, uh, but it does not correct deficiency. It does not, uh, if it is deficient, it is error, mistake, it's already done, okay? Of course, it's expensive. Okay, detecting a defective product is expensive. So that's why we need this Six Sigma program. We need this uh, quality improvement efforts eh? um, to, do, um, to make sure that we do not produce uh, defective. But however, we, need, we still need to inspect. Okay? But, so when we do inspection, what are the issues? Okay? So the issue is when you design inspection system. Okay? When I say design inspection system is where should, when to inspect, where to inspect. I repeat, eh? so when you are trying to develop an inspection system or you want to design an inspection uh, system, 
So you want to know when to inspect, where to inspect. Of course, the another issue will be how to inspect, who to inspect also come into the picture. Okay. For example, I want to inspect this pen. What to inspect? When to inspect? Where to inspect? Who to inspect? How to inspect? So W H W four W Y H W four W one H. Yeah. A lot of questions, you know, you know where, when, where, what, who, when, uh, when, where, what, who, how. So any process, anything that we do, uh, try to think from this perspective, okay? So you design, you need to know when and where to inspect. So these are the suggested points in which you can actually Inspect. So when you design a process inspection, when you think about inspection, whether you want to do it at the supplier's plant, when the supplier is producing it. Okay, supplier producing, so you want the inspection result, submit the inspection result. Or at your own facility, at your own factory or your own place, you do the receive, receiving inspection, we call it. So in engineering, we can call this, this is the receiving inspection. In ISO 9000 system, it requires here that you have to have an receiving inspection. Okay. Or in process where there is irreversible process. Irreversible means when you go to the uh, machine, you know, you cannot, you cannot uh, revise it without returning. For example, casting. You know, you put metal, uh, material, uh, molten iron raw iron into a uh, casting, irreversible. Cast is become, uh, you know, casted. Or, you know, plastic molding, plastic molding, plastic inje injection machine, you put in the uh, material and it become plastic. If it is, uh, we, it is, it is done. You cannot reverse it. So that's where, when, before the process start, you do the inspection before the process. So you determine the, the uh, what we call parameters of the process, the temperature, you fix the temperature, you fix the pressure, you fix the flow rate, and so on. Okay, so you determine that eh? and you fix that during the step by step production process. So, all workers will have their own step of inspection, what to check when production or service is complete. That is also done. This is final inspection. Like you see last week in the car inspection. Car inspection. At the end of the car inspection, they check the tires. You know, they check the alignment, they check the speedometer, and so on. So, so this is also a, uh, where, where you should inspect, or you know, it's also when uh, basically, because when you reach the final product, you come you do the inspection before delivery to the customer at the point of customer contact. So this is where you should be thinking of where to do the when and where to do the inspection. But of course, inspection comes with a price. It's not easy. Worker get you know, tired of doing inspection. It is especially if you do 100% inspection. 100% inspection is very, very tiring. But some things need to be 100% inspection. For example, functional system, functional. You cannot just not check the brake brake of the car. <laughs> the brake must be checked. If not, you know, you will just say, oh, only sampling is special. Only one car every hundred, you check the, the steering. <laughs> no, that is that's, that's wrong. Okay. However, it will result in two worker fatigue, there will be measurement error and process uh, variability. And of course, you cannot inspect quality into product. You cannot inspect quality in product. You can build quality in product. Okay. Once the product is completed, it's already, you know, uh, done. Eh? And it's a defective, it's defective. That's why earlier when we say robust design, Taguchi said, build the design parameter, the design, so that it is robust. It will not be affected by manufacturing. It can withstand the environment. Withstand, that means it's very robust. Eh? And then you have empowered employees, let the employees make the decision. Good processes, eh? sound processes mean good SOPs, good standard operating procedures are the better solutions. Uh, 
better. That means that mean we prevent, prevention is better than detection. Especially it's detection. Detect. So it's, uh, it's not going to help us. Huh? So source inspection is at the supplier. We, you know, it's also known as uh, source control. You, you, you actually make sure that the, um, the one who is actually making the product do it correctly, do it according to the specification. Eh? I mentioned just now already, the next step in the process is your customer. Okay, and you ensure perfect product to your customer. So next process is your customer. Next process is your customer. Another way of looking at source inspection is pokayoki. Pokayoki is a Japanese word. What's the meaning? Pokayoki or bakayoki. <laughs> It used to be called bakayoke. Okay. It is a defect, defect prevention. Okay. Defect prevention of error proving. Error proving. Error proof. For example, your USB. Why you, your, your USB has this, uh, you know, it is pokayoke. Prevent you from putting wrong, wrong side. That's pokayoke. Okay, and other things like checklists to ensure consistency and completeness. Right, the next thing is actually uh, uh, service industry. Okay, service industry inspection. You can also do inspection in service industry, not only manufacturing but service as well. Right? Just look at an example: hotel, reception desk. Okay, use customer's name, domain, grid. Uh, this is Hard Rock Hotel. Uh, great. So these are standards. Standard that must be followed. Okay. Uh, billing. Okay. Billing also accurate, timely, and correct format. So these are also standards that must be uh, inspected in service organizations. Hospital, billing, accuracy, pharmacy, prescription. You imagine pharmacy giving you wrong prescription, wrong, wrong drug. Wrong medicine. What happened? That is, you know, so in hospital, so pharmacy, drug, uh, not only prescription, but drug uh, delivery, eh, giving you the drug in pharmacy. Do you want a Six Sigma one per million process or you want a Three Sigma process? If you understand just now when I say six sigma and three sigma errors, okay, in pharmacy, I'll, I am serving, serving one million customers. If I give wrong medicine, you know, I'm going to produce fatality. Patients will be, well, what? Die. If I give wrong medicine. So do you want to give wrong, you want a six sigma process or a three sigma process? Six sigma process. Exactly, exactly. Right, very good. So you understand that, you know, even in pharmacy, in lab, lab tests, for example, COVID now, I don't think it's a six sigma process. Uh, Yuma, you think uh, it is a six sigma process for testing uh, swab tests, PCR, you know PCR test all over the world. PCR test. I think um, that. Never mind. I, I will be charged for <laughs> wrong, wrong information. Anyway, so you can start thinking about how to make the process uh, perfect. Okay. Okay. In in uh, in quality control and also in quality, we only deal with data. Data means, uh, you know, information, not, not information, data means those um, uh, data, let me think. Data can be broken into two. One is attribute, one is attrib variable. Attributes are things we, you do not measure. You want to measure. Your items are either good or bad, okay? Acceptable or unacceptable. I think the connection the internet is not good. Eh? Is uh, quite bad. Can you he still hear me? Yeah, can you still hear me? 
Yes. Yeah, yes. Oh, okay. Because I think uh, the internet is a bit bad because I cannot write on my... Ah, oh, now I can write. Normally I notice it because I do not write. It's, um... So it's either good or bad, acceptable or unacceptable. So this attribute, for example, you know, uh, when, I, when I check for computer screen, screen on the computer, so I find the problem of scratch. Scratch is attribute. It cannot measure. You can count. You can only count. One, two, three, four. But the intensity of the brightness of the computer screen is variable. Brightness. I can measure brightness. So this is measurable variable. Okay. So this two is used in you know uh, in in quality. Service quality, a lot of attribute. Service quality, yeah. service, uh, uh, you do not, uh, you, it's difficult to measure, but you need to measure, you need to do some measurement. So TKM in services, service quality is more difficult to measure than the quality of goods. And it is uh, service quality perception, we call it, okay, perceptions. So it depends on the difference between, uh, it is an intangible difference between product and also expectation expectation from customer. So it's very tangible in service. It's more difficult, but it's, you must you must measure. Okay? And uh, those who are interested in service, we have the serve qual. Okay, serve qual. Serve qual is a tool to measure service quality. And the components are this, okay? This is the component of service quality. Reliability, involved consistency of performance, and so on, okay? Communication, uh, do you feel confident to the, to the person explaining to them? The tangibles include the physical evidence. So for example, this aircraft, okay? So this is the service specifications before flying. All doors close two minutes before departure. Standard, eh? Cargo door open one minute after arrival. Passenger. So these are service specifications. This is just only one part. You can go to the at the baggage. You see, first bag after arrival. Then at the baggage, you know how you're going to collect. So everything in the world must have specifications and must have quality system. Okay, then only we can achieve quality. Huh? Okay. Uh, service recovery, recovery can read this one.